Hello everybody, I'm gonna be showing you wait. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a basic intro. Now you're gonna click on import files. You normally come up with a bar here, but I had trouble with the last recording here. Like it started to not respond, which might happen again. Why? Well it's cause I'm recording. And this is why it's not working. Oops. And it doesn't like me recording. Light works, I guess. What you're going to do is import the image or whatever you're using for the intro and you're also going to import the sound files too. So, when us finish importing, this is the audio track. I don't think it... Okay, so you drag these out here. It just makes it a little bit easier. So you drag those out there and you're going to create a new edit. Now, you have to buy it to get 1080p stuff, which isn't always that good. So then, what I like to do is, I like to find the part of the song that you like. So you just look through, like, make sure it's not copyrighted. And, uh, like, look through the song. So you just find a part that you like, so, like, say... And then, like put an end marker then go to the end go to the beginning and put a beginning marker and then you can click at the delete menu area so then you find like you want like about 10 seconds so you wait about 10 seconds pause it put one of these markers go to here make another end marker clear that out now, you go and take the image, which I just lost, here, you have to re-import it, so then you take your image, and then drag this here, make sure it's beginning, so drag that in there, and now if you did it right, if it's all cleared out, you can click end here, click here, click it twice, so it's all the way at the back, here and then you have a basic intro now you can like listen through it and then now you have a basic intro and now to export it you go down here to export clips and then you can name the edit. My voice just cracked. So like, uh, base intro. So then that's all named there. And then you can go and export it here. I like to put it to my desktop at like 720p at 30 fps because that's all I can really export unless I buy it. And you can start. And then when this exports. I really don't want this, but when it finally exports, drag it to wherever you had your last, where you put your video or whatever. I canceled that just to show. And then you can, if you don't want something, you can just click delete track and delete this stuff. And then say, since I have my intro, I can actually go back. And then Lightworks doesn't like this folder for some reason when I'm recording. I'm going to stop recording here. When you go and drag that out, you can just take your intro. And then, oh, this is just at the right time. So I'm just going to delete this track, make a new track, put this in here. And it's at 12 seconds. And then you can take another bit of your video and you can put that ahead of it. And then just look through it, watch through it. 
cut out parts you want to cut out. So like click this. Oh, I don't want this part in here. Click another end. Put that together. And you've just shrunk it down your video. Took it out a part that you want. If you didn't want to remove that, you can do Control Z. It just adds it back in there. There you go. Well, hello everybody. I'm going to so show you how to fix OBS. Sometimes OBS has like frame locking and stuff. I know this is a little bit buggy because I'm recording OBS.